And it takes a lot of work and a lot of time to become a master teacher. And very few teachers are master teachers because it's very difficult to learn how to do that in a structured, defined system with controlled protocols and procedures. It's very, very difficult. Do you know who learns to be a master at teaching? Marketers and salespeople. Marketers and salespeople. And they learn to do that because they're free from the confines of a structured system. They have a goal to lead somebody to an idea or a concept, and they're able to talk to their prospect, whether it's virtual or directly, and figure out what does this person need to understand what I'm trying to convey. And we will never teach that inside institutions. But if you wanted to improve the institution, that's what you should be teaching. To get the student to crave knowledge and pursue knowledge on their own and bring it back to you and say, what did I get wrong? This is the, this is the secret, though. It's the master teacher that can do it, but it's so effing simple to do. If you stop being confined by rules about the way things are, and this person needs to know these five things. No, this person needs to know the things they need in their life to get what they want. And if they really need to know the thing that I think they need to, their journey of discovery will lead them to that themselves and they'll pursue that thing that I said they needed to learn now. They'll learn it when they need to learn it. Being a master teacher requires allowing the student to actually learn instead of just trying to teach the student. The job of the teacher is to uncover that which the student wishes to discover. And once you do that, the student cannot be held back.